only $5.49, just 450 calories. Perfect for you, Robin. Why are you looking at me? What do you do when you get a craving for a spicy sub? You go to Firehouse Subs, of course. So let's serve up 10 reasons why Firehouse Subs is so awesome. It's the anti-Subway. Eat fresh? Eat fresh? Subway may still be on top, but Firehouse Subs is hot on their tail. You can even call Firehouse Subs the anti-Subway. They set themselves apart from Subway in more ways than one. For starters, Firehouse Subs places more importance on taste rather than the health factor. Mm. Tasty. At Subway, it's all about the fresh veggies, but at Firehouse Subs, the meat comes first. Take Firehouse Subs New York Steamer, for example. It's piled high with brisket, corned beef, and premium pastrami. That's not all. That heaping mountain of meat is slathered with melted provolone cheese, Italian dressing, and copious amounts of mayo. Subway's cold-cut combo looks pretty wimpy in comparison. Vegetables Vegetables on a Firehouse Sub? That's a rarer sight than the Loch Ness Monster. Firehouse Subs are packed full of enough protein to satisfy a pro athlete. If you want a meat monstrosity that is more in common with a New York-style deli sandwich than a fast food sub, then you should hop in your car and drive to Firehouse Subs. Awesome firefighter theme. That is awesome, dude! Firehouse subs might just have the best theme of any fast food joint out there. Most of the subs have really cool firefighter-themed names, like The Hook and Ladder or The Engineer. What else would you expect from a restaurant founded by two firefighter brothers? These guys know how much of an appetite firefighters work up. That's why they got into the restaurant biz in the first place. Another thing that makes Firehouse subs so unique is the spice. If you cower in fear at the sight of a jalapeno, then Firehouse Subs is not the place for you. They won't literally set your tongue ablaze, but you might need a fire hose full of water to cool things down. It's like being baptized, man. Most Firehouse Subs locations have a hot sauce bar where you can add heat to your sub. Sometimes there can be as many as 100 hot sauces to choose from. A Firehouse Subs location without a hot sauce bar is like a firehouse without a fire pole. It's just not the same. Each hot sauce at Firehouse Subs has a heat level ranging from 1 to 10, but for some folks, that's simply not enough spice. If you have a stomach as strong as Adam Richman, you should give the Firehouse Subs Level 55 challenge a try. That's when you put each spice level of hot sauce on your sandwich. If you're brave enough to try this challenge, make sure you have a gallon of milk nearby. Your mouth will thank you. The founders were down to just $100. I declare bankruptcy! $100 doesn't buy you very much these days, but back in the 90s, it was just enough for Chris and Robin Sorensen to open up their very first Firehouse Subs location. They founded Firehouse Subs in Jacksonville, Florida, way back in 1994 when Jim Carrey first put on the mask. Okay. At the time, the former firefighters were almost broke, but it turns out that worked to their advantage. Being broke forced the brothers to improvise and be quick on their feet. They had to be patient and avoid expanding too fast. Firehouse Subs was an instant hit, but the founders simply didn't have enough money to build multiple restaurants right off the bat. That's what customers wanted, but the Sorensons knew better. By being frugal and hiring family members, the brothers managed to grow the business at a steady pace. Firehouse Subs didn't get too big too fast. If it had, they could very well have gone bankrupt. All the murals at Firehouse Subs are unique. Oh, that is cool. Who isn't a fan of those elaborate and colorful Firehouse Subs murals? You'll find one inside every Firehouse Subs location, and each and every one is unique. Sure, they're not Picassos, but they do exude a certain charm and whimsy. The best thing about those murals is that they serve as tribute to local firefighters. How cool is that? Amazing! 
firefighters are an integral part of every community, so it's important to honor those brave men and women for all their hard work. You never realize how important firefighters are until you need them. Local firefighters actually get to have a say in what the murals look like. That's why each one is unique. Their input is much appreciated, with some fire departments even donating old equipment and photos. Here's another interesting fact about those murals. They're all painted by the same artist. The man behind those brilliant paintings is Joe Pascas, and you could say he's the Banksy of firehouse subs. He begins each mural as a pencil sketch and then spends up to 70 hours creating a masterpiece. Talk about dedication. They donate a lot of money to charity. A charitable donation, eh? It's always important to donate to charity if you can, and plenty of fast food restaurants donate millions to worthy causes. Firehouse Subs is no exception. Firehouse Subs founders Chris and Robin Sorensen have always been philanthropists. Firehouse Subs donates a lot of money to people in need, and the restaurant chain has always focused on helping communities. The Sorensons believe in making a difference in the world. However, Firehouse Subs started giving a lot more money away following Hurricane Katrina. After the horrific natural disaster, Firehouse Subs donated equipment to help first responders in Mississippi. After that, the fast food joint got a real taste for charitable giving. Come on, you can have it. In 2005, the company launched the Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation. The charity has raised more than $65 million to date. That money is used to help first responders, firefighters, and emergency units across 43 states and Puerto Rico. That's a lot of dough, but Firehouse Subs expects to give away millions more in the future. Think about it. Every time you buy a Firehouse Sub, you're making a difference. Whenever there is a major disaster, Firehouse Subs steps up to the plate. The company donates money, lifeboats, and rescue equipment to help disaster victims. It's sometimes very difficult for small firehouses to afford rescue equipment. Firehouse Subs gives back in a number of other ways, too. Firehouse franchisees feed local firefighters and first responders during the holidays. The ingredients are carefully selected. Give me the best. Firehouse Subs uses only the finest ingredients in its sandwiches. Everything in your Firehouse Sub is sourced from a small producer and personally okayed by the Sorensen brothers themselves. After all these years and mountains of money, the Firehouse Subs founders are still very hands-on with the business. They could easily retire to a tropical beach somewhere and just sip on mango smoothies, but that's not going to happen. The brothers are too dedicated to the sandwich biz. That being said, they do take some time to relax. They have a sprawling 9,000-acre ranch in Montana filled with horses and cattle. Now, back to the ingredients. Back to it. Sorensons personally handpick their distributors and pay close attention to where the meat, cheese, and veggies come from. Take those delicious Firehouse Subs pickles, for example. They're sourced from the famous Cat's Deli in New York City. You know, the one that was featured in When Harry Met Sally. No wonder so many customers at Firehouse Subs say, I'll have what she's having. As for that juicy smoked brisket, it's shipped in from the famous Saddler's Smokehouse in Texas. After it's cooked to perfection for 16 hours, it's shipped to Firehouse Subs locations all across the United States. You're probably wondering where that delicious Firehouse Subs bread comes from. Well, it's sourced from a world-renowned French bakery based in Atlanta. Who knew Firehouse Subs was so fancy? You can make the hook and ladder sandwich at home. After three days of work in the lab, I had it! What do you do when you get a craving for a hook and ladder sandwich in the middle of the night and your nearest firehouse subs is closed? Luckily, you can make an authentic hook and ladder sandwich at home. You just need the right ingredients. The recipe isn't a secret. All you need is smoked turkey breast, honey ham, melted Monterey Jack cheese, romaine lettuce, diced onion, an 8-inch sub roll, mustard, and mayo. Here's a helpful hint. Mix the mayo and mustard beforehand to avoid making a sloppy mess. If you're really lazy, you can buy a bottle of Heinz Mayo Must. Yes, that actually exists. 
I don't believe you. If you want your hook and ladder sandwich to be 100% authentic, you could smoke the turkey and glaze the ham at home, but that's not really necessary. The smoked turkey and glazed ham you buy from Whole Foods will be perfectly fine. Oh, and one last thing, don't forget to toast your sub roll. Mayo is a key ingredient at Firehouse Subs. Use way too much mayo. Mayo is king at Firehouse Subs. If you don't like mayo, then maybe Firehouse Subs isn't the best place for lunch. Practically every sandwich is smothered in the stuff. According to the Sorensen brothers, mayo is the glue that holds the sandwiches together. The founders say that the mayo is essential. In fact, most Firehouse Subs come fully involved, another playful firefighter term used by the chain. That means mayo is standard. And no, it's not Miracle Whip, it's good old-fashioned real mayonnaise. When it comes to Miracle Whip versus the real deal, everyone can agree that real mayonnaise is far superior. Yes! Oh, yes, 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 yes! Even the pastrami sandwiches have mayonnaise on them. All you New Yorkers out there are probably pretty shocked. In fact, Robin Sorensen said that mayo should go on every sandwich. Firehouse Subs uses Duke's mayo. If you're from the South, that name will sound familiar. It's a way of life down there. It's hard to imagine a Firehouse Sub without Duke's mayo. They have innovative, healthy options. Healthy as a horse. <laughs> No one ever said Firehouse Subs was healthy, but there are a few relatively healthy options at the fast food chain. Emphasis on relatively. The approach to healthy eating is a little different at Firehouse Subs. They don't have a bunch of low-calorie salads on the menu like Subway, and you won't find organic juices on the menu either. At Firehouse Subs, healthy just means lower-calorie sauces and less carbs. Truth be told, the low-calorie subs at Firehouse Subs aren't much different than the high-calorie subs. When Firehouse Subs introduced healthy options in 2014, they added subs with light mayo and less bread. Other than that, the sandwiches are pretty much the same. Firehouse Subs takes pride in the fact that their healthy sandwiches taste just as good as their unhealthy options. You won't find a bunch of vegan options on the menu either. You don't think vegetables can be tasty, huh? If you want to forego the meat altogether, you should head over to Subway for a veggie delight. The kids' meals come with fire helmets. You don't have to be a kid to get a kid's meal. Parents love taking their kids to Firehouse Subs. Who needs a Happy Meal toy when you can get your very own firefighter helmet? That's right, every kid's meal at Firehouse Subs comes with a plastic firefighter helmet so kids can live out their dream of becoming a hero. You probably wanted to be a firefighter when you were younger, didn't you? There are a few different sandwich options for kids to choose from at Firehouse Subs. There's the grilled cheese, turkey and provolone, ham and provolone, or the hot meatball sub. Each kid's meal comes with a Rice Krispie treat, too. You won't find any boring apple slices at Firehouse Subs. That is so lame! <laughs> Does any kid like those McDonald's apple slices? Kids can't resist McNuggets, but apple slices? Yuck! In any case, anytime you throw in a cool firefighter helmet, it becomes an easy choice. Choose another video. Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.